Welcome, welcome everybody. This is Joe from Joe Thinks, and today I'm going to show you some of the World of Final Fantasy game stuff that is related to Final Fantasy VII. Now, World of Final Fantasy is a conglomeration game. It takes elements from all of the different Final Fantasy games and shoves them all together with Lan and Rin, who are the two main characters of World of Final Fantasy. They encounter a variety of different Final Fantasy characters throughout their journey and I want to show you specifically the Final Fantasy 7 related material that is in the game. Now this will have limited commentary. I'll have a little bit here at the beginning and the end and maybe some stuff peppered throughout it but this is not a full let's play video series nor is it a full commentary series. So let's get into this and start with this huge mega dragon fight. Please don't eat me. I taste awful. Yeah, we all taste bad, but especially Lon. He'll make you the one up far. You don't have to be mean about it. <laughs> Take this. Good job. <sighs> Yay for miracles. Now is our chance to run the past them. Yeah. Good, I... It's... behind the me, isn't it? Final... Heaven! Whoa! It finally 
really works. Yay, Tifa! Oh, I can celebrate later. Come on, this way. Hurry. Now, this next part's important to World of Final Fantasy, the storyline in and of itself. But maybe not so important if you're not worried about this specific Final Fantasy game. Then you mean the Azure prophecy is coming true. So what? No matter how many champions arise, the laws of this world are beyond their power to change. The only force that can change those laws is the almighty power of a true king. We must fulfill the Crimson prophecy. And swiftly. Are we agreed? Yes. Thanks again! You really saved our biscuits the back there! Who knew they came in sets? I'm just glad you're alright. Huge dragons live in the scars. You're lucky you only ran into the two. Normally people don't set foot near the place, but I heard all the ruckus and knew something must be up. <laughs> it's a good thing you did. Gotta say, though, you pack quite a punch. Oh. Well, I might have gotten lucky. Huh? That's actually one of my master's moves. That was the first time I ever managed to pull it off. Oh! I live to the north of here, in a town called Nibelheim. Come on by, if you get a chance. I guess she's a champion too. I'll say. She sure punches like one. Makes you wonder what her master must be the like. She said her town was north of here, didn't she? Yeah. Wait. I think I can actually see it from here. Oh, so, something about that place makes my fur the crawl. I don't know what it is, but it gives me the heebie the jeebies. What you're seeing in the background there is actually Nibelheim, but it's designed to look like Midgar from Final Fantasy VII. But before we get there, let's explore this little town first. This is a charming little town, but something feels kind of, I don't know, off about it. I can't quite put my finger on what it is. Hmm. I think it might be a good idea for us to keep a low profile around here. Why is that? Because... Oh, just do it! Uh, okay. Low profile, Tama. Okay, Roger the wheel, Co. Well, that's all the time that we have for today. So if you like this content, definitely hit the like button and let me know, and I'll make more of this supplemental side content. If you don't, hit the dislike button, and it'll tell me too. Don't make any more junk like this. Either which way, if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell, and you'll be notified when I release new videos, which right now is kind of sporadic for when I'm going to be doing it. Remember, be kind to one another, and save frequently.